Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Let's turn this song down a bit because it's doing it in Italian and whatever it's saying. So yeah, I've just been grinding here for a small amount of time. It's not taking too long to get Pokemon ready to go. I thought it'd be nice to have at least one battle that you saw of Pokemon actually doing stuff. If it gets to do anything at all. Let's do defense so that Pokemon gets a chance to go. Go on Pokemon Nightmare 1. That sounds good, do that. There we go, that was nice. Wait for Pokemon to go out. Go out of a dark power. There you go, he's maxed out. I'm move my mic slightly so I'm not getting the breathiness. Now I'm really hoping that I can still keep Pokemon on my team. No, not you, Palmon. You're not ready yet. That's what I want. Oh, Lopmon! She's so cute. Yay, she can still fit in the team. Good. And I'm going to give her the camaraderie thing in case she needs some more of that. Settings, you. She looks so scared in that picture. Oh yeah, I found out uh, a little while ago that you can nickname your Digimon. So I might do that at some point if the mood takes me. But for now, let's just keep going through this uh, train station that we find ourselves in. Now that Pokemon has evolved, at least it's reasonably useful. Hopefully. Pardon me. Ah, oh, okay, I want to know, I want to know! What? Tell me more about it, what's it like being a cyber sleuth? What cases have you solved so far, and what's your boss like? Tell me everything! Oh. Oh, we were children again. Gulp! This is the same as the one from Kowloon the other day, right? Huh? Oh, it's that boy. He's in Birdman's wing. What is it? What happened? Hey, don't look at me. There's no time to be fooling around. Mm. What? There was a ghost? The ghost of the pale boy? That all of Eden has been going on and on about? And you saw it in Kowloon, for real? You're not trying to con me? You'd be the only one who isn't. Anyone could tell you're really soft-hearted. And you clearly saw something strange. You got a look on it. You, you saw some... Uh, you saw... And yet, I saw nothing. And it left something in your head, as if something were pushed into it? Well, that's freaky and frustrating. To be on the cusp of remembering, and yet... What the heck is that? What does it mean? Sigemon's like... What? Yeah. No, it's another lead to follow. Perhaps... Come on, let's go. Thank God, I didn't want too much talking. You gotta make that mix just right. Oh my God, come on. Oh. There's a man there. Hey, you notice that? Listen up, you, or should I say sleuth. Something's been following us for the last while. I don't know exactly what or who it is. A Digimon or a ghost, or maybe it's her. Show yourself, come on out. Oh my, I've caught your attention. Oh, it's a creepy man. How strange. Oh dear, oh dear, good day to you. Whoa, easy there, let's not be hasty. I'm nothing to be scared of, I assure you. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Akemi Suedo. I'm a researcher for Kamishia Enterprises. I am currently studying this strange phenomenon. You're alone? Yes, I am alone. I'm very much the only specialist capable of making these breakthroughs, so I'd still very much appreciate it if they gave me an assistant. I tell you, it's a terrible company. Why were you following us? I hadn't thought there were humans who'd made it further in than I had. I wanted to observe things for a bit. Did I happen to unsettle you? There's no excuse for that, I apologize. Well, I guess it's no big deal, but if you're in the mood to apologize, tell us what it is. We want to know. Oh dear, put it that way, I can hardly refuse. I trust you won't go around blabbing about this to anyone. Sure thing, right merman? Very well then, I should tell you. But my tale comes out of my work process and it's at best the result of indu inductive research. I caution you that it is not a final conclusion. To begin, let's discuss the pace we are in. This space exists within a certain phenomenon, wherein the whirlpool of a special digital wave. 
you know what I'm referring to, a digital wave? It's a flow of energy that carries digital information, correct? Brilliant, straight from the textbooks. This may still be the real world, but it's still a world made up of digital information. To put it in the very simplest of terms, the real world has been transformed into cyberspace. As a result, everything here has become data, even human thought. That's quite a leap of logic, isn't it? Tee I won't deny that. My colleagues often deemed my ideas rather heretical. Soon even compared me to Nikola Tesla. Or Nikolai Tesla, I don't know. Well, that's more than well and good, but I do try to let not, uh, try not to let the praise go to my head. But enough of that. Have a look at this. The irregularities of this internal structure should indicate right away that we're dealing with digitalized data made from human memories. They merge with reality, giving rise to this bizarre and complex space. That's my theory, in essence. Now, allow me to ask you a question. Have you encountered an eater yet? An eater? What is that? That's the term I've coined for these entities that devour and eat away at things. Do you mean that thing that looks like a black and white nautilus shell? That freaky program? Precisely! To have escaped an encounter with an eater unscathed, you don't know how lucky you are. When an eater preys upon something, all its comprising data is eroded away and becomes glitched. Glitched? What does that mean? All structures are allego oh, allegorithms. Uh, become disordered data, glitched, completely defective. Algorithms, not allegorithms. And once that data becomes glitched, it cannot be restored. Oh dear, how frightful that would be. How truly frightful indeed, indeed. So you end up being eaten? That's the common theory at any rate. I do not happen to agree, however. What? There must always be a way to restore data. It is illogical to assume otherwise. Not in the metaphysical sense, mind. I'm talking about actual digital phenomenon. In that case, bugs are a thing we are well aware of. Therefore, I am pressing on with my eater research. Hey, mister, calm down. Let me get this straight. Kamashiro knows about these eaters? That doesn't sound good. That goes without saying. That's why I'm pursuing this research. Crap! So they did know about them. These admin creeps have been stonewalling me. Well, they are a business providing a service. There's a lot that needs to be kept confidential. I told you, it's a terrible company, didn't I? There's more I want to ask on that front. Yes, I see. If I can provide any answers, I shall ask why. Uh, ask away. But before that, you appear to be hacking uh, hackers, am I correct? You possess a Digimon capture program? And you have some marvelous Digimon programs as well. Hmm? What's it to you? Frankly put, I want to fight off the eater that is likely roaming around here somewhere. What? An eater is here too? Did you not see a strange apparition before? Perhaps you know it as the ghost of the pale boy. Hmm? That is indicative of an eater's presence. A harbinger, I suppose you could say. An eater's existence both impacts the, digi uh, the digital wave and serves to induce it. That's my thoughts on the matter. At any rate, that the digital wave itself might impact the by the eaters. If so, we can cut off the head and the body should wither away. To back up this very, I'd like to ask for your assistance, if I may. You're a researcher, aren't you? You should have secret weapons at your disposal, right? A camera watch that can detect hidden objects? Or a ball we can stuff captured creatures into? That's a bit of a joke towards Pokemon, I think. Those are some oddly specific examples there. The first thing is probably reference to something as well. It turns out that at present, our best weapon against the Eaters are Digimon program. Oh, it was a Yokai watch, I think, the other thing. Um, Digimon programs. Those programs are particularly bug resistant. They can resist erosion with little of difficulty. Yeah, but Mr. Suedo, it's not that I don't believe you, but you want us to wipe that thing out, right? Well, it just happens to be our goal as well. Oh, excellent. Best of luck to you, then. Well, then, we're off for revenge. And let's find our way back to the regular world. The longer we're here, the weirder my head gets. I shall await you here. If you have any questions, come and seek me out. The regular world, you say. Where exactly might that be, I wonder? Oh... Let's have a quick chat with him, see if there's anything new. As I've explained, the digital wave is energy used... Da, 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 da. Unknown whether waves or particles are transmitted. There is no way to confirm it visually after all. If we could really see a digital wave, I wonder what it would look like. <laughs> is there anything I can help you with? Oh, I can buy crap off him, that's good. How many have I got? Is there a way to find that out? See, look, it makes a joke about Pokemon, but Pokemon clearly is better in terms of, like, telling you information. But oh well. Let's go downstairs. God, that cutscene went on forever. 
But oh well, it's over now. We're free. Oh wait, there's a way up there apparently. Oh, I've got some one again. I forgot I'd met one of them. What are they? Ground normal. So I'm not very good against that, so let's just go for it. Normal attack. There we go. Go on, Lockmon! Yay! Ah, oh, she's so cute. There we go. You gotta make the mix just right. I need an IC card to get through the gates. Okay. Put it in a terrier. That guy again. What is he? He is a normal light type, maybe? I don't know. Let's do. Uh, no, let's do meet your wing, actually. That'll be reasonably good, I imagine. Oh, team up with whom? Oh, that guy. Okay, let's do that. So I hit both of them? No. Him again? There he goes. Ice Blast! Wah. There we go. Got two, got him. We'll keep these guys for a little bit longer, then we might skip out some of them. Oh, there are people over here, are they? Oh no, they're, they're machines. Um, close enough. Yeah, that's great. Shellmon, that's nice. Oh, there's something weird over there. How much have we got? 140. Meteor Wing! It's not very strong, is it? But oh well. Crazy Giggle, that's pretty good, isn't it? There we go. Ice Blast! Dead. Do 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 There we go. What's this thing about? Whatever it is, I bet we'll get another conversation out of it. Or maybe it's not a thing? Maybe I didn't click the right thing. Let's try a crescent leaf on this thing. Is that any good? Not particularly. I don't think I'm involved in the triangle that that thing is, in terms of type advantage. <laughs> Just beating each other up. Go, Ice Blast! Blazing Ice! Sonic Void 1. Well, that was reasonably good against it. Rock Fist! Ooh. Crazy Giggle, is that going to beat it? Yay! There we go. Palmon is nearly there! Oh no, okay, that was the thing. I got an IC card, that's good. Now I can go back and go to the other place. Memory up, that's fantastic. 14. Okay, yeah, we can't go this way. In which case, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning because there are people who. Actually, no, I'm not going to go all the way back to the beginning because we're going to need those things sooner or later anyway. Actually, I should have hit the other one really, shouldn't I? Oh well. Oh dear. Oh, 
Oh, that worked pretty well. Do, 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 do. Come on then, back round here we go. Oh god, we've got a high uh, fighting things chance in this place. Sonic Void on that thing. Yeah, not too shabby. Go. Comet Hammer. Ooh. Grand Rock. Taught him. Okay. Come on, Palmon. Between this episode and the next, I might actually just grind until Palmon's ready to evolve. Actually, no, I can't be bothered. Come on then, along here, I guess. Oh, there's a machine here, that's nice. Not anything I want to do right now, though, really. Oh, something's happening. Oh! Whoa! Is this the ghost you were talking about? It look it's looking at us. It wanted to disappear on us. Knock it off. Do you know who that was? Do you even have a clue who it might be? I'm imagining things, that's all yeah. Uh oh, Eater. Dang! Here it is! If his theory is correct, taking the Eater down will also collapse this strange phenomenon. Right, and if that happens, what happens to us? We're inside of that phenomenon. Oh, we gotta do it. Come on. Thanks for saying that. What, uh, saying, thanks for saying what I was thinking. I mean, not thanks for saying that. Come on then, Eater, I'll take you down. Eater Island. Um, meteor Wing. I need to do damage now. Spirit Crash. Destruction Cannon 1 well, That one was good uh, I'm going to change you out dear Because I need something a bit better than you probably um, Let's go for Sukumon Oh dear that was pretty strong um, let's try Burst Flame 2. Any better? Much better. There we go. Data is converging. Oh, his attack went up, his intelligence went down. Guard break, that's good. Birdramon again. Um, I might item you, Birdramon, because you're taking a bit of damage. Wouldn't want you to die. Um, skill. Can we panic it, do you think? Well, we'll never know if that was actually a thing. Let's hope people do some more. Yeah, there we go, that's pretty good. Crazy giggle. That's good. A road terminal. Oh. <sighs> Poop. Speed down. That's good. Okay. Hydro water. I think we can beat it this turn. Go on, burst flame. Yes, take that, Eater. There we go, that was good. Oh, Golden won a, a new technique. That's nearly be the end of this episode, surely. Not that I want it to end, just should I open here for ages. Yeah, it's eight seconds. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> there we 
go. Shut up. Back outside. But I haven't finished looking around that place. Oh well. This is Shinjuku. Well, you know, the old man's was right. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! The eaters and the ghosts of the pale boy. This is a riot. It's spectacular. And on top of it all, there's you. Huh? A cyber sleuth. Ha 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 ha! Oh, this is all too too funny. Reality is some pretty dull stuff, no doubt about it. But this, this is something else. But getting back to business, I'm going to dig into these eaters a little more. Maybe help out with Suedo's research. There was something interesting about him. Speaking of which, where is he? Is he here? In a sense, he's more of a pain than the eater, that eater. Well, I'm off, and you don't let yourself get eaten, okay? See you later. You're under arrest, punk! Run. What? You're not getting away from me! Oh, dear. We are in trouble. This episode's gonna go on a bit long, I think. I see, so that's what that mess was. Yet at the same time, it's fortuitous. fortuitous. Info that's normally hard to come by in a normal investigation that was way right there in front of us. Even sleuths need to get lucky sometimes. What to call this case? Well now let's refer to it as the Shinjuku Labyrinth case. A labyrinth is part of the underworld in folklore, otherwise known as a Meiyohiga. The spirit world, the never world, the land of the dead, it's a world beyond the borders of our own, out of phase, if you will. That's what the spatial phenomenon that appeared in Shinjuku must be. Maybe labyrinth isn't quite the right word, but it's close enough. The reference comes from a collection of folklore tales by Konyo Yanigada. If you're ever interested in looking deeper into it... The important point is that much as in these folklores about labyrinths, the ph phenomenon recurred over and over. In a way, I'm jealous you got to experience it firsthand. Parallel worlds really do exist. The digital world. Hmm? Digital world? Where did you hear that name? I already gave the details in my report. Oh. I see. So after taking on Nokia Shiramino's case, you headed straight to Shinjuku. I missed that. And you claim Digimon are not programs created by humans, but intelligent life forms from a parallel world. Of course, I believe you. I only know a tiny bit about the digital world. Hmm. Let's put aside the digital world questions for the moment. It's not a riddle we can solve right away. Let's go back and talk about the Shinjuku Labyrinth. Right before I took you on as an assistant, there was some unsolved case in, in Shinjuku. And then you uncovered Shinjuku's case, not to mention the Labyrinth case on top of that. My fear is that this all stems from the irregularities with digital waves regardless. The digital waves are growing unstable at key locations throughout Tokyo, not just Shinjuku. Since it's not at a level that impacts our daily lives, we ignore it as being within the range of error. The issue is not the state of growing instability, but rather what's causing it. Why now? Is it natural, or is it human interference? Is it an alien or a paranormal phenomenon? It's an interesting case. We should press on with our investigation. Hmm? By the way... Hmm? While you and I were out of contact, I decided to make the best of my time, and so I whipped up a special new coffee blend. Oh dear. And suddenly you'll be back with our results. That was an elementary deduction. You've really been giving it your all. Your work has been excellent. And now, as a reward, I've got a treat for you. Hee <laughs> hee, I put a lot of effort into this. Oh dear, isn't it incredible? The miraculous harmony of coffee, yogurt, and seaweed boiled in soy. Oh. Well, at least it got CSP from that. Let's just save quickly and find out if there's going to be any more talk. God, eight hours I played so far, that's crazy. Any more chattiness? Yep. I haven't picked up any cases lately. I'd better take a few on before Kyoko forces me. That's fine. Anyway, I will see you. Oh, that's nice. Um, guys, next week. Oh god, there's so many people talking. Oh, we got two more cases. That's good. Um, apparently, I got sent a present. Anyway. Hope you liked what you were watching, and like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.